ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஜாவா இஇ இஜேபி ஜேபிஏ டுட்டோரியல் நான் யூ ஆர் வாட்சிங் பார்ட் டூ ஆஃப் தி சப் சீரியஸ் ஜேபிஏ ரிலேஷன் ஒன் டு ஒன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் மேக் தி நெசசரி அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் ஆன் அவர் எஸ்கோல் சர்வர் டிபி ஸ்கீமா தட் மீன்ஸ் வி வில் make a simple modification in our uh, savings account then we will create a new table for uh, location and using these two table we can study the one to one jpa relation in the last video we learned about the basics of one to one relation so here is the db script and if you see we are dropping our existing savings account table then we are setting some of the sql server attributes next we will be creating a savings account again why we are dropping here is we want to add a new location uh, i mean a new uh, column in the table we can simply use the alter table technique to add a new column also but here in this case we are simply dropping it then recreating it so, so we are creating a new table all these fields are taken from our previous schema person id person name balance and only change what we are doing here is we are introducing a, a location id field so if you see here we introduced a field in the db but we doesn't to mark this as a foreign key next we make use of alter table alter table savings ac here we are using the add constraint and we are adding a default constraint for uh, the balance saving account balance so by default if it doesn't provide any value balance will be taken as zero similarly for here we are creating a new location id right we are providing a default location as one next we create our new table location and this is the id field or identity field so this is auto generated field this is a auto generated field identity just like how we created a auto gen field for person id the same way we are creating a auto generation field for the id location id then we have two more field one denotes a street and another one denotes a city so here if you see we establish a relation between this location id and the id field of the location table but the relation we do it through jpa entity so at the database level we just provided the fields but we doesn't establish any relationship by means of a foreign key here if you see we have only the uh, default constraint not the foreign key constraint but the relationship we will introduce through jpa now we will go to uh, sql server and make this schema change so here is our uh, sql server management studio and here is the script and the script was already explained 
So here it says we don't have a savings account. Maybe I already deleted that, but still we can run this uh, script why because it is going to create it. If it already there, then um, it will delete the savings account and it will recreate it. Okay, let me execute the script. So ignore this error. In your case, uh, if you don't have a savings account, you will be also getting the same error. But uh, if you are watching our uh, previous video and if you have a savings account, you will not be getting this uh, error. So we can simply ignore this uh, statement uh, if it gives any error. Now we will refresh this uh, PUBS database and you can see both the tables savings account savings account now it is having the location id so that's the modification from our previous uh, sub series in our previous sub series we had person id person name and balance and in this sub series we introduced location id by means of creating the or recreating this uh, table First we dropped it, then we recreated it with a location ID in hand. Then we will be having the location table also and here it is. And if you see there is ID, street and city. Now our schema is ready to experiment the JPA one to one relation. Um, so we will conclude the demo for this video here. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.